I've got 99 problems, but a lippy ain't one. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Perrier, Platinum Premier Leader of my team of Poshpreneurs, and today, let's lock lips. That's right, today I'm going to swatch all of the vile colors that we've released so far. I don't know, not that there might be more coming or something. Who knows? I'm really excited about Vial. It's really um, a, a super new product. I've done a couple of videos previously showing you how to apply the product. And I'm really excited about the new green chemistry. It's a super moisturizing, long lasting lip color. There tends to be maybe a slight bit of a learning curve for some in how to apply and how to use the product the best. But I will tell you, once you've used it a couple of times, you're going to figure it out and it's a fabulous, like I said, long lasting lip color. Whatever color you so choose to start with, you're going to start by priming. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on my primer and then we're going to get to swatching and then I'm going to show you each of the colors on my own very lips. Like every one of our Posh products, you need very little products. So when you first pull out your primer wand, you're going to go ahead and wipe off some of the excess and then we're going to apply. Okay, so just like that, you're just going to apply to your bottom lip, smoosh, smoosh, smoosh your lips together, and then apply a little bit more just cleaning up your cupid's bow. Now we're going to wait about 60 seconds, anywhere from one to three minutes. We really wanna wait for the primer to get nice and tacky. It wants to be like the stickiness of like that of a post-it note. So while we wait for my primer to get tacky, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of the colors onto my arm so that you can see what they look like. First off, we're gonna do Beyond the Pale. Now it's important to note that you you can actually mix the colors. Ooh, we're almost getting tacky already. Um, you can actually mix the colors. So Beyond the Pale is one of my favorite mixers. It's the lightest shade that we offer currently, and it's really going to lighten up any of the other tones. So here we go. That's Beyond the Pale. I think I'm very fair, so Beyond the Pale is almost going to be like a nudie pink on me. If you're dark skinned, Beyond the Pale is definitely going to be a mixer for you, probably not a shade all on its own. I'm already a little bit tacky, so let's go ahead and apply Beyond the Pale and see what it looks like. Again, very little product, so we're gonna wipe off some of the excess. And there we go, that's Beyond the Pale. All right, now we're gonna take this off and put on stop blushing. And just for your reference, we're going to be using the Bare It All Wipes in between so that I can remove and put on new lip color like six times for you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, and again, while we're waiting for my primer to get tacky, we're going to go ahead and swatch stop blushing. So we've got Beyond the Pale here. Next up, we're gonna do stop blushing below. And you can see, Stop Blushing is a little bit more of a rosy pink color. And my primer is like a post-it note, so I'm ready to apply my color. And that's Stop Blushing. So these colors are absolutely going to look slightly different on everybody. Our skin tones are all very different. Our undertones are a little bit different. This is Stop Blushing on me. I've seen a lot of people, like I said, you can totally mix the colors. So I've seen a lot of mixing Stop Blushing and Beyond the Pale together. It comes out with a very beautiful muted, mauvey, rose, nude, pink, you know, like four different colors. <laughs> Onwards and upwards, on to the next. My poor little lippies. Okay, next up is Mocha Me. As I let my primer get tacky, you know the drill, we're going to swatch. So Mocha Me is a really nice, rich, chocolate brown color. Again, super gorgeous mixed with Beyond the Pale, but we're gonna go straight in with the color. What do you guys think? It's a little bit dark brown for my liking, but I'm not super mad at it. And actually, spoiler alert, we have an awesome sauce topper that I might actually want to try on top of this. I should have tried this topper on top of every single one. So this is our topper called All Decked Out. It's a shiny glitter topper. It gives the most beautiful sheen on top of any color. You can wear it alone, but it's even more beautiful on top of a color. So if we just give this a minute to dry, I'm going to go ahead and cheat and throw this on top right now. Here goes nothing. And as you can see, my color is dry to the touch, so it's ready for the topper. Gonna wipe off the excess. 
and then throw on the shine. So if you're a fan of a glossy look, we do have a gloss. Our gloss is going to reduce the wear just a little bit, but if you like this sheen just as much, this is not going to reduce your wear at all. It's going to dry down just like the lip color does and it's going to last all day long. So onwards to the next color. Okay, next up is Love the Wine You're With. You've seen me in this color before, but just to keep things good, good. Just to keep things in order, we're going to swatch it this time as well. Love the wine you're with is a nice deep red, almost like a burgundy. So there it is next to all the others. And now we'll throw it on my primed lips. Again, this would be super beautiful with that all decked out on top or mixed with a little bit of Beyond the Pale. But this is Love the Wine You're With. Well, I thought I pushed the record button, but apparently I did not. So you're going to have to pretend like you saw me apply this. This is Truth or Dare. It's a little bit more of a blue red. Here's the swatch right here next to Love the Wine You're With. You can see the difference in the two. I really like it. It's pretty bright and shiny like my personality. <laughs> okay, I was sure to push the record button this time. All right, so we're gonna take off Truth or Dare and we're gonna move on to our next color, which I'm super duper excited to try. It's called Slay Me. All of the bear it all wipes okay so you slay me is our most recent color and I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right next to truth or dare for you is that not gorgeous it's like a beautiful burgundy it's perfect for Christmas and it's going to be even better with the all decked out topper on top remember we're gonna wipe off the excess product and apply just very little because it is so very highly pigmented Okay, so I've got the You Slay Me on and we're going to add the All Decked Out on top. As you can see, You Slay Me has actually got a little bit more of a sheen than any of the other colors. The other colors dry down very matte. This one's got a little bit of a sheen on its own, but a little extra sparkle never hurt anybody. So you wanna wait until your color is dry to the touch, which mine is, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw on All Decked Out. As you can see, it's just enough sparkle for that holiday party or, you know, for every day that ends in Y maybe, <laughs> when you wanna be just a little bit extra. I'm gonna go ahead and throw All Decked Out on top of all of my swatches so that you can see how it performs with each of the colors. This is Beyond the Pale. And then we have Stop Blushing. It's so pretty. Next up is Mocha Me. Love the wine you're with. I mean, how fun are these colors? And then we've got Truth or Dare. And lastly, like I said, you can see next to the other sheens how You Slay Me does have a slight bit of a natural sheen, but we can make it a little extra with some all decked out. Now I know you're wondering, but Jessica, how do I order all of these colors? I want them all. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, actually, they're available right now and it's three pieces in this tin for $49. So for $49, you can grab three pieces. Remember, you're always going to want to start with the primer. The primer is really what's going to lock that color in. So you apply the primer, you let it set for between one to three minutes. You want it to get the same tackiness as that of like a post-it note. And then you have all of these colors to choose from. Good luck. I myself ordered a couple of tins, hello, because I needed all of the colors because I like all of the options because I don't like making decisions. Um, but I really do recommend grabbing a tin. You're going to get that primer in there and then you can select two colors. I personally would make sure you get the all decked out topper because, hello, it's gorgeous. You're probably going to need more than one tin, but again, I'm not trying to push you, I'm just saying, Beyond the Pale is a gorgeous mixer. Like I said, you can mix that guy with any of these colors to kind of lighten them up and create a slightly different look. I really am in love with all of these colors. So this was the first time I tried some of them, and I really don't know how, how to pick. I love them all. This one is my favorite for holiday. You slay me with the all decked up topper. That is my favorite for holiday for sure. So again, here's all of the swatches. I'm gonna try to show them to you up close and personal. 
that's all of the swatches on me. They're going to look a little bit different on each different skin tone, so keep that in mind. If you would like to try a sample, I do have sample cards. I've got these sample cards that come with a sample of Primed, which is our primer. You're going to get Stop Blushing and Love the Wine You're With. So remember, Stop Blushing is number two and Love the Wine You're With is number four. So those will come on a sample card if you like. Otherwise, I recommend just ordering yourself a tin and getting right into Vial. It's a long lasting lip color. It's super moisturizing. So typically when I wear a lip stain or a long lasting lip color or even just a typical lipstick, I feel like I need to apply a lip balm halfway through the day or even sometimes maybe like an hour into the day. I've worn Vial several times and it does not dry your lips out whatsoever. It is a super moisturizing long lasting lip color. So if you're a makeup wearer whether it's once in a blue moon like me or every single day you've got to try Vial. While you're on jessicaposh.com ordering your vial, you're going to want to pick up some of these Bare It All Micellar Wipes. They take off your lip color like nobody's business. But if for whatever reason you don't want to use a wipe, you can take it off with any kind of lip oil, you can take it off with a lip scrub, you can take it off pretty much any kind of way. It's not going to have to get chiseled off your lips. As evidenced by my trying all of these colors with you just today in the last 30 minutes. I don't actually recommend removing your lip color one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven times in a row, but if you really have to, I'd reach for a bear at all. If you enjoyed this swatch video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss another Jessica Posh video. We've got lots more coming your way this holiday season and I could not be more excited. If you want to talk more posh, then send me an email. All of my contact information is down below. Thanks so much for watching. I can't, I can't, don't go without a call. Oh, there's a such thing as Google.